Alright. YouTube. This is for you. Sad day. Hello, YouTube. This is SPG Trevor, also known as Nightmare. And for Daisy, this is the Lollipop Strangler. I'm bringing to you a series of disconnections, as you can see right here, so I will probably be right back as I am going to be booted in the next few moments. Until then, we'll just keep running around. Um, I'll just stop myself if something happens, but this is, as you can see, Daisy. Um, it's a mod... Oh, I guess I'm not getting booted. It's a mod that came out... I'm gonna say April of last year. Um... I got pretty heavy into it this summer because I joined a clan that's na and their name is not going to be um, disclosed. But I joined said clan and became pretty. I'm, I don't sound, mean to sound uppity or anything, but I became pretty good at this game. Um, and now I haven't. It's been a while since I've played Daisy, so now I'm going to bring you viewers of SPG a series on Daisy. This is going to be a what to do and what not to do. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's start going. Um, this is something I've never seen before. I haven't spawned. I've haven't, well, of course, I haven't played in a while. And this is a private hive server. Um, if you can see my top right, it still gives you the um, your debug menu. Um, it's a BMRF server. Um, private hive. You have to if you are interested in playing on the server. Um, you'll have to go to their website and sign up. I mean, it's a great server. Um, donate if possible. They do a great job and they host the server very well. Um, starting off, we spawn, of course, on the coast. This is for <laughs> the few of you that have never played DayZ. Um, you spawn on the coast and you just survive. That's pretty much it. Um, now, you don't spawn with anything except for some painkillers and a bandage and a flashlight. Um, pretty useless, but we're gonna make the best of it. Um, luckily, Kamenka. I don't know if this is just private hive or if this is everything, but Kamenka went through a little bit of a change. Um, there's looks like there's a fire station now. That's new. Uh, fire station. I know there's some apartments. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that. I don't know what I'm going to tell you, but we're going to go raid it and see if we can get some stuff. Um, this series, like I said, I'll be telling you what to do and what not to do. Um, so yeah. Um, can't remember if I said this or not, so I'm just going to go again. Daisy is a it's a mod for the game Arma 2. Um, you need, I believe, you need the expansion uh, Operation Arrowhead, which include or. Operation Arrowhead, which includes one of the expansions. I can't remember if that's the expansion itself or not, but um, all you do is install that, and then you install DayZ, and you can explore the wastes. Um, the mod itself is a 225 square kilometer map of Trenaris. Um, I believe it's someplace in the Russian area, because everything's in... I can't remember the language, it's been a while since I've played this game. But, um, pretty much your goal is to survive. Um, you can band with survivors, which I do not recommend. Um, you always have to be wary of other players. Um, I'm gonna go say with rule number one, don't trust everyone right off. Someone is like, oh hey, I need some help. And, of course I've been in this situation, and be like, okay, sure, I'll help you, because I'm a nice guy. Because when... When everyone first starts playing Daisy, I feel like they all want to be friendly and they're like, Oh, I hate bandits. Bandits are stupid. They ruin the game. But you start playing and you realize that it's not just the fear of being a bandit or being banditized that gets to people. It's they don't want to die and lose what little they've already earned. And I've already angered some zombies, but we'll get rid of them shortly. Um... 
As you can see, these zombies are in clumps, that means that I've just spawned them, so there is no one else in this area, unless they kind of walk in while I'm here. Um, we'll just kind of start playing and see what happens. Uh, hopefully get some gear in here. Um, always grab the water bottle and we'll take the mags just in case. Um, I think for the majority of this video I'm just going to stay on the coast, see what I can do. Um, see if I can get some encounters going on. I'm probably going to run into some zombies, but for my first trick, I'm going to show you the ladder glitch. Bam. Look, right through the walls of the fire station. That is the uh, second floor of the fire station. You just kind of climb up and go. Right. I've probably lost most of my zombies now. My cat's going to probably start meowing. You probably hear that. But, um... No, I I guess I'll start talking about more of my history with DayZ. Um, I started in summer. I can't... It's the beginning of the summer. I started playing this game just by myself. Um, a friend had... Oh, shit. Oh, 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 that was clutch. Uh, that's a really good way to get down, but don't do it as dangerously like I did. But, um, anyways, I started in the summer. A friend had been like, oh, you have to look at this game. It looks really cool. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll check it out. And I, as soon as I watched it, I knew that I had to buy armor. So literally 10 seconds later, I bought armor just for this mod. And I can say that it was worth it. Um, when I bought armor, it was only $15. So it's kind of a steal of a deal, I guess. Um, and I put hundreds of hours into this game. Um, I started playing by myself, you know, adventuring, trying to meet people, and of course when I started I was like, I hate bandits, I'm not going to be a bandit. Um, I started playing, met up with some people who were also new, because this was when the game had just, like, had started to get popular, so met up with some people that were also new to the game. Um, we ran around for our little macros and got murdered. Um, happened again a couple times, and I was still like, alright, I'll, I'll be a, um, I'll be a good Samaritan, I'll help people out. So I started trying helping people, I started trying meeting people, talking on sidetrack, be like, hey, does anyone need some help? Uh, my watch changed that to direct, by the way. Um, kind of went from there, and yeah, I had a good time with it. Um, got some of my friends into it, and they loved it as well. Um, we continued playing, uh, they started dying out, and I started being the only one playing. Um, so I was like, I need to find someone to play with. So I joined this clan. Uh, I'm gonna say two months into my adventures by myself. By then I've been pretty, you know, well-rounded with this game. I knew what was going on. I've been playing for a while. I joined this clan and just had a blast. They're great people, great group of guys. If you see this, you know who you are. Um, ow. Damn it. Um, yeah. Started playing with them, got into some huge encounters. Um, it was a great time. And we played for... To get, we played together almost every day for about three months, maybe? Probably a little more than that. But we played that for a while, and then it kind of died down. But someone's been here, because there's civilian clothing. Um, but after that, I mean, everyone kind of died down. They kind of started doing their own thing. I got off Daisy, because, you know, playing a game constantly for, like, six months can get to you. It can get kind of boring after a while. So we kind of went our different ways. Um, they started playing more MMOs online. I kind of, I can't remember what I did. I wasn't playing Daisy, that's for sure. Um, kind of got back into it a couple months ago. Uh, played again for a little bit, got back together with them, played on some new maps. Um, it's one thing that's cool right now, they're releasing a lot of different maps. Um, they're, of course, they're not made by the creators, they're made just by random modders who want to make their own Daisy experience. But, kind of just happened like that. Now that the, uh, I guess the boring information is over, I'm going to go back and continue giving some tips. Um, 
most of this video is probably going to be just be me running around, which kind of sucks. Um, tip number one, I suppose, I'm going to go with not to run on the roads. Um, mistakes obviously can be made. Um, I guess it's not so much as a issue as it was way back in the day when everyone started off with a pistol, but still get hit by cars. Um, people will still find you and hurt you. Um, it's easier to run in the tree line. I mean, as long as you have a good sense of direction and not run directly in the woods, you'll stay on the coast, you'll find your way to the major cities. Um, Kamenka, which is where I spawned, is the very, is spawn, or the town is the very south west of the map. You always spawn on the coast, so as soon as you, as soon as, if you spawn in Kamenka, you know to follow the road to the east, which is, so you're running, so the coast is on your right, that means you're running to the east right now, um, and you'll run into one of the main towns, which is, or main cities, which is Cherno. Looks like these guys are talking about it. That's a n rule. That was, this will go back to a uh, rule number one, do not trust everyone. Um, this is probably one of the worst things to do. I personally have done this because I became a bandit after a while. Um, don't talk to people about where you're going inside chat or global chat because people will anticipate that. People will set up ambushes if they're in the city already and they'll wait for you which is bad news for you, unless you're good at the game. Alright, so I don't know if this is going to conclude episode 1 or not. Episode one's probably going to be a little bit longer because I just spawned. Um, probably just going to speed this up for a while and just have me run for a little bit. Um, yep, so I'll speed this up and I'll come back when something exciting happens or I get to the next place. Alright, I had to stop the, uh, the recording because I was getting two frames a second, which is not good. Um, running, uh, I believe this is Komarovo. I know that said something different, but that's because it's in a different language, and I just aggroed some zombies, I believe, which is good. Um, there's nothing too much exciting in this town. Um, there's the warehouse over there, which, or it's not a warehouse, it's more of a factory. Um, if you have a vehicle, or you're trying to fix up a vehicle, that's those are always great places to go. Those, um, there's like maybe three of them in the game, in this map. Um, they always have three floors worth of equipment. Um, another place where you can find vehicle parts, uh, while I'm talking about it, because it's ever so exciting, uh, is these little garage things. Uh, luckily no vehicle parts in here. I don't know why it's luckily, luckily but, um, I'm just gonna keep running, collecting some gear. Um, things that you probably don't need are flares, uh, crossbow bolts, crossbow sucks, don't grab it. Um, any, any kind of junk, really. Um, tin cans can actually be pretty helpful um, for breaking glass at hospitals, but of course, being where I am, there are no hospitals. But I just aggroed a bunch of zombies, as we can see when I look behind me, they're not very friendly. Um, see if I can lose them in these trees. Uh, it's a good way to lose some zombies is just run through these trees right here, do some zigzags, some serpentine motions. Um, it confuses the zombies as their brains are rotting and dead. Um, oh no, three frames a second. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this is hurting. Oh, five. Oh, one. Oh, five. Why is my computer breaking? Uh, oh no. Trying to look behind me. Alright, hopefully we don't go back down like we were in M. Okay, we're, we're good now. Kind of, hopefully. Um, but as you can see, serpentining and zigzagging. Shut up, Mork! He's. Stop it! Um, serpentining can help. I had like 18 zombies, now I only have two, and by 18 I had like five. Um, yeah, these trees are really helping, and I don't know why my computer is doing this to me right now. Of course, when I'm trying to do something, it's gonna screw up and 
shit on me. I don't have any other programs running. This is a high-end computer. Why are you freaking out at me? Come on. Piece of shit. Okay, there we go. Maybe I do need a new computer. I don't know. This one's a year old. It's got some pretty good specs. It's got I'm not quite sure what the specs are, but I know I have an i7. I have the NVIDIA GTX uh, 560M. That Yes, this is a laptop. Um, it's about a year and a half old. Um, I wonder if it's the overheating problem. I wonder if there's more dust in it that I have to take care of. I may have to um, end this video and come back. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Um, I'm not going to torture you guys with the, the low frames. So I'm going to stop the recording now, and I'll be back. Alright, I return to you with more memory and more goodness, so hopefully Fraps keeps running. Or doesn't keep running, it doesn't slow down too much. Where we left off, which was three hours ago, my time, a couple seconds ago, your time, um, just, just running along, trying to get to the uh, military base. Um, after Komarovo, or Komi Shavo, whichever which one that one is, I can't remember, um, there's Belota. And in Belota, that should, that's actually Belota right there. And after Belota, or is, I don't know, whatever, after this little settlement, there's a airbase, and it's Belota Airfield. You can get some, uh, military gear there. So, without, without hesitation... I don't know why I would hesitate, but we'll we'll just go. We're just gonna run. I'm gonna get there. I'll see you right there. Um, speed this up a little bit so it's not so dull and boring. All right, I guess I'm close enough proximity for me to continue with the video now. I'm just gonna kind of run right in. Not seeing any zombie spawns. That is a good thing for me. That means that there haven't been players here recently. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go here and raid. Um, again, pro tip for Daisy: one thing that you're gonna want to do is sneak in. Um, don't want to run full for full force in because that may put you out of bad position if they're either zombies or players. Um, you can't lose them in the hangars, they do not stop running in hangars, so that kind of sucks. Um, and other than that, you can lose them in the air control tower, but if you climb down the ladder you're exposed, so if there are players and zombies, you're kind of screwed. Um, of course it doesn't really matter what you do, you can do whatever you want. I just like playing a little bit more careful. Weird though, there are no zombies. I haven't even spawned any zombies. We'll see what happens. I may die, but that's okay. It'll be exciting. Hopefully. Alright, just gotta make sure I'm indirect so I can talk to people if necessary. Yeah, someone's been here. I bet, at least. zombies here. That is indeed odd. Oh wow, they added more to Belota. Before, Belota just used to be these hangars. Now, there's some tents. Oh, what do we have? Oh, a DMR. I'll have some fun with this. Um, in my clan, I was one of the snipers, so the DMR, it's got the same, it's I can't remember the caliber, but it's the same caliber as the, uh, the M14. Takes same DMR mags. Ooh, and, um, uh, this is just too good. Um, well, for some reason, it's the preferred sniper of, I guess I'm gonna call player hunters, bandits, whatever you wanna call them. It's the preferred weapon for them because it, it, it has a very, very high fire rate, um, 
it's very good range, and so on. There's also a a dead body around me, if you can't hear that. Um, again, this is all, feels like it's all common sense, but I'm doing this for the benefit of people who are new to this game, even though that's a very rare case. We're gonna... Uh, just gonna be careful, because now I have a, a pretty cool weapon that I really would like to keep. Um, one thing that does kind of suck about this is I have no close range weapon except for my pistol. If I run into someone, I'm just gonna have to go full auto on them. But, let's go check these out. Let's see if I can also not aggro any zombies. No? Too late. If I keep at this speed, I should not aggro. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I've aggroed all the zombies I can aggro, so we'll see what's in here for some spawns. If there are any spawns. I've never seen that. These are new buildings to Daisy as well, so. Let's get in here. Pistol, reload, and we'll uh, take out some zombies. And now all the, everyone knows I'm here. Oh wow, bad shot. Alright. Now, everyone knows I'm here, so this will be fun. Um, on the bright side, the uh, me clearing out my computer and whatnot is helping with the fraps incredibly. Um, not getting very much lag. Really no lag. There's another dead body around me. There was something going on. I wonder if that's why the uh, the DMR is here. I've never seen a DMR spawn in these buildings. Or not these buildings, the hangars. Kinda cool. Uh, right, I'm going to go to the med tents now, and those do have some someone may be there, so it'd be cool if I could show you a little bit of action. I'm about to conclude this episode. Um, yeah, oh. I don't know where I'm getting hit from, but I am getting hit. Let's fucking get out. Alright, we are ending this episode with a bit of excitement, and I died, so... That's a good uh, end point for episode one. Uh, sound like with these stereo headphones, I have no idea where he's shooting at me from, but from the sound of it, he was in the tent area. But hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you like what you saw, you can subscribe, you can comment, tell me what to do, tell me some things that you'd like to see, and I'll try to do my best and tell you what to do and what not to do in day Z. I hope you guys have a great day. Farewell.